Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to use Photopia to create this animation looking like you're shooting lasers from your eyes. And you'll see in Photopia I have already opened up a photograph of myself. And one thing to remember when creating an animation is that each layer is going to be a different frame of your animation. Okay, so first thing I've done is create a new layer and this is going to be the second frame of my animation. And I've gone to the polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to mask off the eyes on my photograph. So this eye first. And then I'm going to press shift while I do my second mask. So that I create multiple masks. Okay. And once I've done that, I'm then going to use the paint bucket and white on the color picker to fill my mask. Okay, so I have a layer with my photograph on it and a layer with these white eyes on it now. Okay, I'm going to duplicate my white eye layer and just leave that there for a minute and then duplicate my photo layer and I'll just make the top layer invisible for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom eye layer and I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 20%. Okay, I'm then going to select that layer and the photo layer and I'm going to merge them together. So I have a layer with kind of eyes that are slowly going opaque. Okay, I'm then going to duplicate the photo layer again and I'm going to duplicate those eyes again and I'm going to hide that top layer again and then on the next set of eyes I'm going to turn the opacity down to 40% or close to and then same as the last time once I'm happy I'm going to merge that and the new photo layer together Okay, and I'm going to keep doing this, so duplicate the photo layer, bring it up, duplicate the eyes layer, and make the top one invisible for the time being, and then change the opacity of this one to 60% before doing the same again, merging it with the new photo layer below it. Right click merge layers, okay, and then another time, right click duplicate photo layer, drag that up to just below the eyes, and then right click and duplicate the eyes as well, make that top layer invisible, and this time I'm turning the opacity to about 80%, okay, before merging it with the new photo layer below. Right click merge layers. Okay. Then one last time, duplicate the photo layer, bring it up to below the eyes. And this time I want to duplicate this one last time, but I don't need to change the opacity. I'm just going to merge these two together but I've duplicated it so I still have the eyes on their own layer, that's important. But you can see I've now got different layers with my eyes slowly going whiter and whiter. And as I said, these are going to be the frames of my animation. Okay, so now with the eyes, I'm going to duplicate them again. And I'm going to double click the bottom of the two. And I'm going to go to Outer Glow. And I'm going to put an outer glow, you can choose your color. I'm gonna go for a nice hot pink. Click OK. And I'm gonna make sure that I've got, it's on normal blend mode, that the opacity is right the way up and that the size is at 20, okay? Right, once we've done those settings, click OK. And I'm gonna right click on that layer and I'm going to rasterize that layer style so it makes that glow permanent on that layer. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go to the eyes above and I'm going to duplicate those again. And I'm going to take the lower one and I'm going to double click and go to outer glow again. And the settings will be the same as last time, but this time I'm going to turn the size to 40 and click OK. And that makes the glow that little bit more intense. OK. And again, right click rasterize layer style and then duplicate the top higher layer again. And again, double click, outer glow, and this time turn the size to 60 and click OK. And then right click rasterize layer style. And that's the glowing eyes done. Now we need to start making the rays of light coming from them. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to grab the pen tool. And I'm going to make sure that there's no fill. So the X. And that the stroke is white. And you'll have to play with this. I'm going to just do a about that for my initial thickness and I'm just going to click on the eye and then click off of the photo in the direction that I want the ray to be going in and you see I'll need to change the size now to get a kind of small thin line I think that will do so what I'm going to do is right click on that layer and duplicate it and then grab the arrow tool to just move the new duplicated layer to my other eye. Okay. Now, if I was to put an outer glow on this, it would go over the eyes. So what I need to do before I do anything else is just to duplicate these two layers. So I just select them both and click duplicate layer. So there's the duplicates. I'm just gonna hide those for the minute. And then I'm going to take the two original layers and I'm going to rasterize them. And I'm going to right click and merge them, merge layers. Okay. And I now want to add that glow, but as I was saying, I don't want it to go over the eyes. So I'm going to right click and duplicate the eyes layer. And I'm going to merge that new layer with those thin laser beams. Okay, and that means that when I double click that layer and I go to outer glow, I've got the whole of my eye and the laser beam um, with a glow around it. Okay, and I'm just going to right click and rasterize that layer style before going back to these new layers now, my new laser beams, and I'm going to make these thicker. So I'm going to go back to the pen tool. And I'm going to change the thickness size to something a bit thicker. Okay. And I'm going to do the same again to the other one. Change the size. And same as before, I'm going to select both of those layers and I'm going to duplicate those layers and then hide the duplicates before going back to their originals and rasterizing them and right click merge layers to merge them. Okay. And then same as I did before, I'm grabbing the eyes, duplicating those two and taking the duplicate and merging it with those thicker laser beams. And again, this is so that I can Double click on this, go to outer glow and have it go around the eyes and around the laser beams. I'm also going to turn up the outer glow to 80 so that the glow is even more intense. And now I'm going to use these last two layers that I duplicated and we're going to make those even thicker. This time we want the thickness to be actually the, the width of the eye, if you will. So going from the top of the eye to the bottom of the eye 
in terms of where the laser is. So I'm going to do some moving about here and make sure that it looks like the laser beam is coming from the top of my eye. And I'm going to need to be thicker there, so I'm just going to turn up the thickness. And don't worry if in doing this you have to kind of go over the edge of the eye. We can erase this in a minute. I need to go even bigger. It's a bit of a trial and error to get the size that you want. There we go. It's looking good. As I say, don't worry if it's overlapping down the bottom there. We'll sort that in a second. And then this one, we're going to have to go bigger too, but not quite so big because it's a smaller eye. So a little bit bigger size wise. And then moving that into position as well. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do now is right click on those layers and I'm going to rasterize them. So right click and then I'm going to grab the eraser tool Make sure it's good size. I'm just going to delete off that little bit there. Rasterize the other layer. And use the tool again. Just to get rid of the bit overlapping there. Okay. And now I want to add a glow to those. But same as before, I need to be merging them with the eye layer so i'm going to grab the right eye layer there it is bring it up select all three layers right click merge layers and then i can double click on that top layer go to outer glow and this time i'm going to turn the size to 100 and click ok so i have a nice intense glow on my laser beams. Okay, I'm just going to rasterize that layer style and I'm also going to do that for the one I forgot there. That's it, rasterize that layer style. So now I have all my kind of laser beam on different layers and the glow of the eyes. Okay, so you can see how my eyes go white and then they glow and then the laser beams appear and get thicker. Okay, and each one of those is on a different layer. Right, I could just go straight to animation now, but I like to, at the top, duplicate the layer a few times. Okay, and then right at the bottom, duplicate the bottom layer as well. Okay, um, and it just means that the animation runs that little bit more smoothly and lasts that little bit longer. Okay, I just put three extra frames in at the top and the bottom. You don't really have to do that, but I think it works. So leaving out the bottom layer, I'm going to select all the layers, then go layer, animation, and make frames. And now every single one of my layers is a frame. And if I go to file, export as GIF, you'll notice it does make me reduce the file size so that it works. But if you just click OK, it will then take you to this, and if I zoom out, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And if I bring the speed up as well, it's running a little bit slow at the moment, so I'm going to go 100%. There you go. And you can see the animation working. And this is what the frames would be like if they just repeated over and over again. But you can click on Boomerang, and what it will do is it will take the animation, and it will turn it so it goes backwards, then forwards, and then backwards. And I think with this particular animation that works really well. Okay, so you're left with, once you press save, an animation that looks like this, where it looks like you're shooting laser beams from your eyes. And that is this tutorial done and dusted. I hope you find it helpful.